This demonstration will focus on the manufacturing process simulation of an automotive part. This bevilla will be manufactured using a resin transfer molding process. Palm RTM software is dedicated to simulations of RTM processes such as injection or infusion. It gives the opportunity to test different process injection strategies and to optimize the chosen one. This virtual testing can reduce drastically the number of real costly tryouts. Palm RTM integration in CATIA V5 environment make very easy the computation of the material properties with an automatic transfer from the CPD definition of the part. We can see here our B-pillar in the composite design workbench. This is a typical automotive part, okay, and we will display also the different zones and the different zones for the layup. There are four main zones in the lower area, in the central area, in the upper area and the top, top zone of the part. This is also the outlines of the flat uh, pattern from my different plies. We can see there are four plies for the main part, four reinforcement in the middle area and four reinforcement also in the upper zone. For RTM simulation, we will switch to the RTM workbench in analysis and simulation, resin transfer molding. Palm RTM gives the user the opportunity to conduct uh, different simulations, such as resin transfer molding, standard RTM process, vacuum assist resin infusion, heated RTM, pre-heating simulation with no injection, and curing analysis. In our case, we will focus on the RTM analysis. The next step is the generation of the mesh, and I will switch to the advanced meshing tool. I will choose to use advanced surface mesher, and I will select my geometry in my initial definition. This is the B pillar surface. The meshing parameters, mesh size is 8 millimeters, and I will create a linear quadra triangular mesh. I will use also some constraint to have some nodes defined on my injection lines. I will define the injection lines used here in the design, which are located in the top area, but also in the bottom area here. Okay, I can now generate my mesh. This is a very quick operation. It's already completed and it has created 23,365 elements. Okay, I can exit this workbench and enter again my resin transfer molding workbench. The next steps are the definition of my materials, the resin, there is two material definition parameters, which are the density and the viscosity that are needed for a standard RTM analysis. I will use those values. And for the reinforcement, I will get the information from the CPD definition. And using this link here, I will read the content of uh, my initial design, okay, which is defined on those surfaces. The orientation method will be using the CPD rosette orientation and the core sampling desk is the default 10 millimeters. Material file, I have to choose it in my list here and I can press OK. Now I can generate the link with CPD and the mesh. Okay and this will take a few minutes. I will now check if the link with CPD has been correctly done by displaying the number of ply, for instance. I say to display the number of plies on my part, and I can clearly see that in the top and the bottom zones there are four plies. In the central area we can see eight plies, and the upper zone we have twelve plies, as defined in the CPD file. 
I will deactivate the visibility of the number of plies. I can also show and display the permeability tensor. In particular, the direction K1, which is displayed here with arrows. We will now have a look at the material database where information on the material are stored. We will open the cat material file. and displaying properties on carbon. Okay, we have some information on composites. This is material type in unidirectional and curled thickness, curled thickness. We have also some information about structural properties and clicking on more gives access to an RTM tab where we get the information on the permeabilities. Okay. I will now deactivate the visibility of my permeability direction K1 and keep on moving with my definition of my data setup. I will create some groups for the inlets. For the inlets I will be using the lines on the top and on the bottom of the part. So I will create groups using those two supports, those two lines. And I will give you a name inlet. I will do the same thing for the outlets. I will call it vents and the support will be the boundaries on my bottom area, the two extremities and the two extremities also on my top area. Okay, I can now reduce the design here and focus on the definition of my process. I will use for inlets a flow rate condition the support will be the group called inlet. The flow rate, uh, the default value is okay, maximum pressure is satisfying also and the temperature is 300 Kelvin. For the outlet, I will use my support vents and a pressure of 0 Newton meter square. Okay, my data setup is now complete, I can launch a simulation. And I will compute the or oh, mesh and analysis. Okay, this is displayed here, the log file from the solver, which gives the output, a quite readable output. Now we've got 7% already filled, 8%, 9%, and the full simulation will last for approximately 8 minutes. The content of this log file is not limited to information written during simulation. It also gives some results, such as volume of resin used and volume of resin lost through vents during injection. My simulation is now complete and I can now display the results, showing, for instance, the filling time. Okay, here we have a filling time of 585 seconds, as my injection lines are located in the bottom zone and in the top zone. Okay, we can see also, choose to display the flow front. I will hide the feeding time and make a movie. And we can see in red how the resin flows inside the part. As my vents are located on the extremities of the bottom area and of the top area, my flow front ends here. But as I created the void initially with my outlet uh, parameter, then I do not have any hair uh, at the beginning of the injection, so I won't have any air bubbles. If I had not defined the void, initial an initial void, I might have seen some air bubbles here, and in this case, the floor front would not would not have closed in the middle area.